I came home from work and we could see the smoke up on the mountain and so we, we've been keeping an eye on it it was a Friday we were kind of keeping an eye on that smoke all day when the Sun went down uh, we could actually see the flames coming up off of the mountain and we started to get kind of concerned um, Jade saw a Facebook post saying that fire trucks had been dispatched to the house right right behind us so they were back right in back of our house protecting the cabin that was up in there um, the fire was I would say less than a mile from our house I took video of of the flames up on top of the mountain and I went in and showed the kids and said hey listen don't panic but pack a go bag just in case you know only stuff that you absolutely need if we were to have to start over again uh, and so it was kind of fascinating to see what everybody packed Jordan of course was his computer Jayla packed clothes I'm not sure what Javana packed I think squishmallows and lip gloss Jade I don't think she really packed anything because everything special to her was at the house pictures and memories and you know trees that we had planted and all that stuff I packed this hat which says what is life but one grand adventure because I figured you know if we're gonna be starting over again I'm gonna need some inspiration so I took my hat um, I took my cameras my drone and my guitars and uh, and that was a couple couple articles of clothing pants shirts um, but uh, you know it's pretty crazy when you when you're actually in that situation thinking man I you know in the morning we might not have a house the fire burned for more than three days scorching about 200 acres of the bald eagle state forest the cause of the fire I, I don't think it's known I'm curious though if you know comment below I'd love to hear from sources I've seen about 90 people served putting this fire out. So you can see on my left side here is where the fire was and on my right side is unburnt so the the break was effective. This is where it stopped right here. It is so quiet and so peaceful up here. Uh, birds are chirping. I hear zero noise from traffic. Just beautiful up here now. It's hard to think that two weeks ago there were some really raging fires up through here. Uh, I can smell burnt wood in the air. And that's kind of sad. But it's, it's really neat to see everything bouncing back uh, the birds and you know wildlife and the mountain laurel um, it'll it'll come back you can see here behind me this is this is our house like right down here is our house and you can see that uh, the fire actually started to go down that way um, it was coming around all of this that has been cleared came around and was going down the mountain that way you can see it's kind of burnt in here. There's some, some trees that have been stacked up.
It's crazy to think how fire can be such a blessing at times, and then just devastating at other times. As devastating as this fire was, it could have been a lot worse. There are towns on either side of the mountain. So would you join with me and comment below? Let's thank the firefighters. I just want to say a quick shout out to all the firemen, um, first responders, all, all of you guys who served putting this fire out, thank you. You guys are awesome. Um, we still have a home because you guys were able to get this fire out and we really appreciate that. So, uh, also I have a brand new book out. I'm going to put a link to that in the comments here. Um, you can get a free download of an audio book. If you want to listen to the audio book, it's also available on Amazon, so check that out. And we will see you in the next episode.